Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick leg session. I say quick, but I was in the gym for about two, had two and a half hours, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, but yeah, we start off with the calf machine raises, standing of course. Um, with this particular exercise, I always like to start off a warm up, obviously, and then pick a medium to heavy weight. Uh, which I find like I can only do a few reps of um, and I just do a few reps of that and then I make sure I've got the squeeze at the top and a long stretch at the bottom and then I decrease the weight and do the same thing again so even if it's like three to five reps as long as I make sure I get the squeeze and I'm holding that contraction and I'm um, making sure I'm getting that stretch at the bottom uh, that's fine by me and I'll just keep decreasing the weight depending if my form does leave the chat. So if my form does kind of look bad, then I'll just go and uh, drop the weight a little bit. But um, yeah, I do this for about two working sets. And then towards the end, you're going you're gonna to see that I will do some cheat reps in there as well. So I can make sure that my uh, calf my muscles my soleus and my gastrocnemius to be exact uh, are burnt by the time I finish with my set. I try this out and see if you guys like it. If it works for you, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. It's good to try new things here and there. So yeah, um, here I'm just testing out the water, seeing how my knees feel. Um, started off with three plates. Well, obviously they were warmed up beforehand. Felt comfortable. Uh, I just thought I'd increase the weight a little bit. Uh, just try and work towards that three to five rep range. Um, three to five rep ranges are probably the best for building mass and strength uh, in your muscles. So yeah, this rack wasn't the best rack as it wasn't bolted into the ground, which you have to be wary of. Uh, and then this was my four plates attempt. Wanted to see how it felt. And surprisingly, you, I failed this. Um, usually I always get this up, but I'm not too sure why today. My body was like, nope, not today. Uh, bearing in mind, I did have a physiotherapy session done the day before, 20, 24 hours before. I'm not trying to make an excuse or anything. And I was like, yeah, that was awful. Um, and I just thought I'd just drop the weight back a little bit and then just try and get some uh, reps in uh, and then focus on the week after try and get my strength back but yeah um, I'm still cutting by the way so um, my strength will drop significantly due to the fact uh, that I won't be consuming a lot of calories and I'll be in a calorie deficit uh, however no excuse to not train heavy and uh, yeah and then um, I end up just doing a few sets of these um, and then I drop the weight back even more oh, not too sure shout out to all my short kings <laughs> anyways not really sure I'm like 5'10 so yeah um, so yeah this is two plates now I just do I think two sets of this and I just try and focus on just reps because today wasn't wasn't really feeling as um, uh, weight wise, just wasn't going up. First off, squats are a compound movement. That means they involve multiple joints, your hips, your knees, your ankles, and work several major muscle groups at the same time. You're not just hitting your quads, but also your hamstrings, your glutes, and your calves. Plus, you're engaging your core and lower back to stabilize the weight. Now, the big reason why squats are effective is because it targets these large muscle groups in your body, uh, especially your quadriceps and glutes. The more muscles you work in an exercise, the greater the hormonal responses. We're talking about anabolic hormones like testosterone, growth hormone, which are critical for muscle growth, not just in your legs, but your entire body. So it circulates. Another factor is that it's progressive overload. So as you obviously increase in muscle size, and density and you do get bigger you'll still be able to add more weight and um, adapt
Okay, so I now move over to some hack squats. Uh, I primarily try to go to as heavy as I can around RPE 9 uh, and then I just try to hit that 5 to 10 rep range uh, do two sets of this again. Um, hack squats are really important uh, because you put a lot more emphasis in the quadriceps uh, and the inner thighs, adductors and a little bit of your hamstrings obviously your vastus lateralis and the vastus medialis and the intermedius and the femoris. So it's really important if you want a big, uh, big quads, hack squats are, are an important factor um, to do in your leg sessions. If you are on my program, then you are aware that we are targeting the posterior train of our bodies. So that means we are specifically targeting the front, which is our um, quadriceps in this case scenario. Um, and that's why we've done the hack squats right after our normal squatting uh, uh, exercise. And yeah, if you are interested in joining my program, you can go ahead and message me directly or comment down below with your email address and I'll send you an invite link to join my program. So first, let's talk about tempo. You probably heard this term thrown around, but what does it actually mean? Tempo refers to the speed at which you lift and the lower the weight during each rep. And when it comes to leg extensions, controlling the tempo is a total game changer. Instead of just cranking up the reps as fast as you can, Slowing down the movement really increases time with attention. Bear that in mind. That's how long your muscles are working during each set. More time with attention means that the more muscle fiber is being recruited and activated. And that's where the real growth, real growth begins. Think about it. If you explode the weight up and then just drop it, you're only working half of your quads. But if you focus on slowing down the controlled lift, let's say for two seconds, holding it for one at the top, and then controlling it for three seconds, you're maximizing the tension and you're giving your quads no choice but to grow. Now let's get into high reps. When people think about building muscle, they often focus on lifting heavy. But when it comes to isolating a muscle group like quads, high reps can be effective, especially on machines like the leg extension. High reps, anywhere from 15 to 20 or even more, are perfect for leg extensions. Why? because it really targets the endurance fibers in your quads and creates serious burn. This metabolic stress leads to hypertrophy or muscle growth, just like heavy lifting does. The key here is to maintain the slow controlled tempo throughout your high rep set. Don't rush to the last few reps just because it's burning. That's where growth begins. And combining tempo with high reps is like a double whammy for your quads. You're creating time and attention recruiting more muscle fibers and getting that insane pump that really drives okay, the muscle Okay, let's growth. kick things off with the hip adduction machine. This one works the muscles on the inside of your thighs, especially your adductors. These muscles include the adductor longus, the adductor magnus and the gracilis, which are terms you probably will never ever hear again and use, but it's good to know these things. Every time you squeeze your legs together on this machine, you're firing up those inner muscles in your thighs. And some people may think the adductors are just for aesthetics. These muscles are actually play a huge crucial role in your hip stability. Strong adductors are going to help you stay balanced and stay fit, especially in exercises like squats and lunges by supporting your hips and the way they move. But when your adductors are strong, they help keep your knees tracking correctly, which is super important for body alignment and lower body movement, whether it's in the gym or in any sport. Think about things like cutting or changing directions in football, or even when you're running, strong adductors are key for that explosive movement. Uh, ever notice your knees caving inwards during a squat? Well, that just means you've got weak adductors and they're often the culprit. Strengthening these muscles, you will prevent knee collapse, which not only makes your squat stronger, but also reduces the risk of injury. 
So now let's talk about the carryover to this exercise. When your hip adductors and adductors are strong, it doesn't just improve your stability, it boosts your performance in sports, helps your balance, and even enhances your strength and posture. Uh, but yeah, these machines are great for injury prevention, whether you're squatting, deadlifting, or doing lunges. Stable hips are the foundation for good movement mechanics. If your hips are weak, you'll feel it in your knees. Strengthening these muscles helps support your joints, keeping everything in alignment. Okay, for my final exercise, I'm gonna be doing uh, dumbbell lunges. When you step into the lunge, your quads and glutes fire up. Uh, this exercise will work on your quads, glutes, hamstrings, calves, and your core. Um, and yeah, this really improves your balance and coordination, really. That's the reason why I like to do it. And it also does fix any muscle imbalances between your legs. Uh, you can try walking lunges, reverse lunges, or even side lunges to help mix things up. Uh, it will definitely improve your squats and deadlift, even your running performance. Uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, uh, if you like the exercises I've done in today's video and you want more videos like this, uh, just let me know in the comments uh, below and uh, hopefully we can uh, see you next time. Click subscribe uh, for more content like this and comment down below what you guys think. And please, please do give it a thumbs up uh, so I can drop some more videos like this. And take care. Peace.